Hey everyone, welcome back to MetaCare Tribe. Today's video is one of my most requested video. How to migrate to Australia as a teacher if you already have the qualification and experience. If you don't have one, what qualification to gain to get your entry into Australia? What are the challenges? What are the advantages, disadvantages? It's going to be an intense, fully educational video from my perspective. So stick around till the end and hit the subscribe and notifications button to be instantly notified of Australian lifestyle and visa realistic information from me very, very frequently. It's not just one video a week. So I make sure to give you authentic, realistic, immediate information about Australian updates. Okay, so without much delay, let's get started with today's video. So all the time, every year, you will see the teaching jobs, school teacher jobs, or different kinds of teaching jobs in the skilled occupation list. But many people struggle to even meet the caps and we don't have much people migrating into Australia under this particular category for one simple roadblock, okay? So I'm gonna cover that in a second. For now, the first thing that I wanna talk about is the advantages of teaching jobs in Australia. What are the disadvantages from my perspective? So the first thing we all know as Indians, as people from other countries, we all want to migrate and settle in a professional job in our career, something that's already aligned with our previous skills and work experience. So teaching is something if you've already done, if you are a teacher, obviously getting here into the teaching job will be the best thing that you want to do. So it's a professional job. If it's something that you already want, then that's the right fit. The second main advantage is if you have a family, if you have children, in that case, oh my God, you know, the hassle of managing the school children during school holidays if you're working elsewhere. So if you're in a normal job, which does not have holidays during school holidays, you have to pay for the after school care or the vacation care to manage your kids, which is going to be expensive. And if you can't afford it, then it's definitely not a good option. The third thing, you can always plan your holidays with your children, with your family, because you get school holidays at the same time. And the timing of the job obviously is very, very good, matches with your kids' timing. So those are the advantages. The disadvantage, the first thing that I find is the culture shock in terms of disciplining the children here, because they are not like ask to sit down in a proper class environment and listen to the lecture they can play around run around scream so that is something which will be very difficult for a new migrant as a first job to you know discipline the children get into the work environment and the second thing is because they address you with your first name or as with their last name mr miss mrs which is very different because we've seen our children when my teacher walked in, we all used to get up, greet them with good morning, teacher and ma'am and miss and sir and whatnot. So all these things might be a little different. And especially if you're going to handle secondary school children, then it is definitely challenging. I've been tutoring children from my house for the past three years. The attitude of children is something that is not acceptable at most of the times, but you will get through it. But the initial phase is challenging. So those are the advantages and disadvantages of teaching from my perspective, but do not stop yourself from applying because of these stuff, because every job has its pros and cons, but I'm just here to give you both the sides of the story. So you're not just, you know, attracted towards a flashy bit. So, you know, both, but apply and try to get here as quick as possible with your skill set. Okay, so moving on to the assessment criteria. So AITSL is the agency which is responsible for assessment of documents for teaching job. It could be any kind of teaching job. It could be preschool teaching. It could be primary school teaching, secondary school teaching, or special needs teacher, or even private tutors. If you're tutored in a private institute kind of setup, there is still a category to apply. So I will leave the link in the description below. Make sure you check the link detail because every job has a separate code with their own sets of eligibility criteria. 
pretty much it depends on the age group that you have handled and the kind of activities you have done for the children. So the main advantage of this teaching job position is even if you have worked as a casual or a relief teacher, your experience is taken into consideration. So the website is very exhaustive. It gives you all the information. All you have to know is know what exact category you are eligible for. Okay, so make sure you read the description properly and apply for the relevant particular um, occupation and get your assessment done. The main disadvantage or the main hurdle I see most of the people that are experiencing is IELTS. So you have to do only IELTS academic. Most of the migration occupation, you, are, you just have to do IELTS general, which is a little bit easier than academic in terms of reading and writing. But of course, you know, everything comes with uh, an asterisk. So similarly, this particular job being something that you will be directly engaging with children who are mostly from an English speaking background, English as their first language, you are expected to have a very high level of communication, written and spoken. That is the reason they have very strict rules around the IELTS requirement. There's no relaxation taken. PT is not eligible to apply under the teaching degrees. So if you have the qualification, if you are confident you can score IELTS, then definitely go for this option. You can migrate with teaching as your skill assessment. But if you don't have it, which is the most of the case, what is the next option or the alternate option is to apply for course in Australia for teaching. So you have bachelor of teaching, you have masters of teaching in different, in different disciplines. So you have to choose whether you want to choose primary school teacher or secondary school teacher. After getting primary, you will not be eligible to work in a secondary school setting. So make sure you choose wisely the courses that you want to do. After you come here, you can obviously change. But before you complete, you, you should know your target, where you want to go. So that is something is very, very crucial. So the little bit of relaxation, even with the um, teaching courses, the IELTS requirement is still high compared to other courses for the same reason that you, you will be directly interacting with children, you are expected to have a higher degree of communication skills. But like I've always said, student visa comes with a little bit of relaxation because it is a kind of an income, okay? So there would be some kind of relaxation for you to come here and do a course or whatever. So if you convince the person or the institute or the university, or if you are lucky enough, even if you miss in one or two modules, probably I'm not promising, but you might be given a conditional offer to come here and do the ELICOS course and then fulfill your conditions. But IELTS is something crucial for this particular occupation. Even if you're going to assess in overseas or when you're coming here and getting assessed on show for this particular occupation okay so these are it is just a bird's view but the kind of occupation or the number of occupation available for school teachers are huge even i wanted to do a school teaching job and i tried but now i should have they expected me to do the course for two years masters in teaching and i'm like no i'm done studying i don't want to study anymore so that is the only reason that stopped me otherwise i would have been a secondary school teacher by now <laughs> okay so it is something very very rewarding if you have children if you want more family time good pay and i've always loved teaching so that is something that i would love to do so make sure you read every criteria that's given if you have fulfilled all the conditions go ahead apply for the assessment and you can migrate here as a school teacher, okay? Which has huge number of jobs and a definite pathway to permanent residency. I wish you all good luck and I hope you like this video and please comment about any other occupation you want me to do a video on and I'm happy to do a separate video on the most requested occupation, okay? Stay blessed and I'll see you all in the next video.